Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 3, 14 to 21. Jesus said to Nicodemus, The Son of Man must be lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced, that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everyone who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. Healed by the Light Whoever does the truth comes out into the light, so that what he is doing may plainly appear as done in God. Let there be light. Such a gentle invitation, yet colors exploded, jumping out of everywhere. Every crack, every crevice, everything suddenly came to light, bringing all things into being. The world was filled with light. A great hush. Light soundlessly crept into spaces, illuminating everything. Lighting up alcoves, dark corners, tunneling under rocks, all in plain view. We walked into the light. We saw ourselves for the first time. We saw others and they saw us. And then we thought that so much light was not so good. We hid. We preferred darkness. We camouflaged ourselves, disguising and making up our faces to look better as if for social media. Do afraid. Come into the light. Raise the true self high like Moses raised the serpent in the desert. Even show your dark self. Every part is beautiful. Hidden parts don't receive the light of healing. They clump together and grow toxic cells and metastasize. Allow the light of Christ to radiate through the whole body and heal us. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.